Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to draw outlines for any photo that you want. First, I'm gonna give you a brief explanation on the grid method. When you're drawing a portrait, keep anything in proportion is very important. If things are off just a little bit, the drawing won't look right. Drawing portraits, especially eyes, are pretty intimidating for you. One of the few ways that you can actually get the right likeness is to use grid method. It's like you take something complex and break it down into smaller pieces. So the first thing that you have to do is to find the reference picture that you want to draw. Next, you have to download a grid drawing app and I'm using Grid Maker for drawing, which you can download from Play Store and it's really good and useful. Now that you download the app, open it up and from this icon, open your gallery and choose the reference you want to create. Now you gotta add the grid to the photo in this section, the rows. Type the numbers you want the squares to be. And it also depends on the numbers, so it could get larger or smaller. If you want the squares to be large, type 7 or 8, but if you want the squares to be small, you can type 15 or 20. I usually go with 15. The smaller the squares are, helps you to spot different parts of the face easier. If you're a beginner in drawing outlines and gridding, you can also use this icon, as you can see, diagonal, to make it very easier to draw the outlines. And also, the grid shouldn't be too thick, because at this point, you can't even see the reference clearly. So from icon thickness, make it thinner, and I'll put it in one. You can even change the color of the grids from here, which black is the one I always go with. But if the reference photo has a lot of black color, you can choose another color like white. So now, for drawing the reference, we need a pen, eraser, ruler, scissor, tape, and cardboard. So let's go back to the app to see what size the cardboard should be. Tap the square or rectangle button. For the rows, I want this to be 15. So when you type the rows down, it will show you the columns which fits it perfectly. And which I always go with that. And in this one, columns are 13 and that's fine. So I can go with that, but also I can change it. And there's also another item which is the size of pixels and I mean squares, which means every square's rows and columns size that I usually pick 2 cm each, which means this is 2 cm. And this is also 2 cm. And you can also choose 1 or 5. So 15 squares rows. And if each of them is 2 cm, the rows are going to be 30 cm. Right? And columns are 26 cm. But if you choose the pixels to be 3 cm, it will change. And the rows are going to be 45 and the columns going to be 39. I always go with 2 cm because if it's like bigger, 3 cm or 1 cm, it's either too big or too small. Now I cut the cardboard 30 cm to 26 cm and use a ruler to draw the grid. I drew 15 lines in rows and 13 in columns, which are 2 cm away from each other. Then I connect these dots and I do the same thing for the other part. Now our cardboard looks exactly like what you're seeing on the grid app. Now let's draw the outlines. First, you need to put a tissue under your hand in order not to ruin the cardboard in case your hand is sweaty. And drawing the outlines shouldn't be like this and with too much pressure. Because if you draw something not in the right shape, it's hard to erase it and lines should be almost fade and easy to erase. I usually start with the body or hair and then I go for the details like eyes or lips. I usually count them columns and rows and then I start it. The reference photo starts from row 1, column 4. Count the rows and columns every time so you don't draw in the wrong square. Hair and body are easier to draw and you can just trust your instinct with it. But what I do for details and eyes is that 
I zoom in the reference picture in the grading app to 2 cm like I use ruler to see if each square is 2 cm in rows and columns and then with a ruler try to size the eyes like 1 cm is in this square and then draw it on the cardboard. So I earlier said that eyes are really intimidating. One line is a bit smaller. The eye is now look like the one in the reference picture. And now watch me outlining this to the end. And you can also use this method for every reference picture and every size that you want, big or small, doesn't matter.